there are a lot of really exciting new AI-powered software development tools coming out. And one way we like to think about them is a distinction between build time AI and runtime AI. Build time AI helps you build software, helps you build your app. Runtime AI runs in your app. So when your users are using it, they're benefiting from AI capabilities. I'll show you an example of both. Here I'm building an app that looks like Twitter. And I have this component on the screen that represents a tweet. And it was built with an AI generator uh, that we call our AI custom component. And using build time AI, I can make iterations on it. Use an accent color for the background to make the tweet stand out and use white for the foreground color. So as I'm building my app, I'm sending instructions to an AI that's rewriting my app. In this case, it's working at the component level. So it's gonna think about that instruction, edit the component representing a tweet, and then uh, my screen will update. So now I have these very bright looking purple tweets. Now runtime AI happens while users are using your app. So here's an example of runtime AI. I've created a list of agents, or maybe we'll just call them bots. These are fake Twitter users. I want them to engage with me and reply to my tweets. Now I'm gonna post a tweet, and this gets added to the screen. Now, no AI is happening in the app yet, but let's add something interesting. This is a backend autom automation that runs every few minutes. It looks for new tweets, and then it's going to take each one of my agents, and it's going to first ask them whether or not they want to reply to my tweet. And if they do, it's going to ask them to generate a reply using their, their name and their personality. So if we go back to the layout, this is running in the background. You can see that uh, there are three replies already on this, on this Taylor Swift tweet. Let's check them out. So we've got sincere reply guy who always replies sincerely and kindly. He's very supportive. He likes Taylor Swift too. We've got the glam chihuahua pup, also loves Taylor Swift. But then we have this cranky lady. She's really sarcastic and she's asking me if, our if I'm serious and that her music is the same recycled heartbreak nonsense. So this is just a fun, lighthearted example of why it is not intended to make Twitter clones or social media apps, but that's the difference between AI that runs at build time and AI that runs at runtime.